Welcome to this Optics Rate Debates. My name is Theodore. I'm Andras. Hello. And today we are going to talk about a really common question that we receive to our, uh, on our emails or when people call us. Where are Steiner binoculars made? So, Andras, should you do a short intro about Steiner? Yes, of course. They've been around since 1947 and up to around 1955 they only manufactured cameras. Interesting, and, yeah. Yeah, interesting. For a little less than 10 years and then they stopped manufacturing cameras completely and they gone for binoculars. Mm -hmm. And they've been making binoculars all the way up to now. And uh, in 1972 or somewhere around that, they've also become one of the... Uh, manuf they started manufacturing for the army. Yeah. For the, for the German army. For the German Western. army. Yeah. And they still manufacture binoculars for them. They are now manufacturing binoculars for many armies, including the American and all NATO states and so on. And they are one of the biggest producers of uh, professional binoculars in the world. I think that they are by far the biggest. Uh, and they really established a strong point or a stronghold uh, in the whole professional sector. Police, military, uh, all the services so for rescuing people in the seas and so on. Yeah, and the same goes for marine binoculars, where yeah. they practically dominate the market because Completely, they yeah. don't have any competition in the topmost quality when it comes to marine binoculars. Yeah. When you go above 1,000 euros, they are the only ones. And <coughs> I apologize. Bless you. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, their headquarters are located in Bayreuth, in yeah. Germany, in Bavaria. And you were also there in the factory. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's really interesting because most of the other German manufacturers are in Wetzlar, or, uh, but not Steiner. They are the only ones, the only optical factory in, in, uh, in Bayreuth and also probably the only one in, in Bavaria. Uh, and they have a huge factory there, I would say 800 people employed, something like that. We have a whole factory tour written about it, so please check it. Maybe I, I'm wrong about the numbers, but it's really big. We also have an article on where our Steiner binoculars yeah. made, and we'll link so, the link below. In their production facilities in, in Bayreuth, um, they do everything from development, research, uh, grinding of glass, coating of glass, uh, production of the housings from Macrolon. This is a material which Steiner uses uh, extensively through its entire range, uh, really light material and really robust material, uh, packing and shipping out around the world. So they, they do everything in-house for those binoculars which are made in Germany. And there is a, I would say, a small mystery around it, what's made in Germany and what's not, because since 2008, they are part of the Beretta Group. And Beretta Group is really big, I think it's 60 plus companies, they produce everything from Sacco, Tika, Buris, Steiner, many, many companies. Uh, inside of the Beretta group, they also acquired electro optics or e optics <coughs> in, in the US. Now, this is their Steiner department for the, for the electronics. Uh, so, they have some production facilities also in the US. They also produce their rifle scopes, the Ranger series in the US. With the binoculars, from what we know is that all the binoculars with poro prism, even those really affordable ones, uh, if you, in some markets they sell Sagor uh, 8x30 or 7x30 binoculars, which are really, really affordable, uh, but they're still made in Germany. So everything what has a poro prism inside is made in Germany. So navigator, commander, yeah. everything with the poro prism. Uh, with the roof prisms, it's a little bit different because, honestly speaking, when you're buying a compact binocular for 200 euros, it's really hard to expect that it's made in Germany. So, they are not vocal about it, but I would say that they probably outsource some parts. Maybe they even outsource the, the whole binoculars. Who knows? What it is true is that with every Steiner binocular, you are able to expect the Steiner warranty. So, they will net, not let you down on the warranty and the robustness and the build quality even with the most affordable Steiner ones is still Steiner. So they're really well made. Yeah, so the, the housing and the rubberized parts are almost legendary with, with Steiner. Yeah. They all really are made like a tank. And their warranty. Because let's say on the more expensive models you have a 30 years warranty. On the more affordable models you have 10 years warranty. 
and they really service everything. Ten, ten euros is still a lot for still a, a lot. 200 euro binocular. Yeah, yeah. So, honestly speaking, everything what is above 500 euros, you can be sure it's made in Germany. Everything what is below can be outsourced or not, but you're still getting a really robust, reliable binoculars, even though I'm, I'm quite sure that probably roof prism binoculars for 150 euros are not made in Germany. It's probably impossible to do any kind of binocular for this amount of uh, money in Germany, but still you're getting good value for your 150 euros, let's say in that case. Okay, that's practically it. If you found the video useful, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have a, uh, if you, if you have a question, I'm sorry, and see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.